Good evening everyone. In this video tonight I'd like to show you my tarot card collection. Uh, I don't think my collection is something special and I know people who have 3000 deck collection and they really really collected those cards but I don't really collect them anymore. Uh, these are mostly the decks that I bought when I was crazy about buying decks, tarot decks. These days I'm kind of okay with what I have and there are some decks that I want but I'm not really that crazy like before uh, about buying them, you know. Uh, maybe it was like a phase, you know, when you start tarot, learning tarot, get excited about all the decks and you start just buying all of them. So, okay, so uh, I'll try to quickly talk about uh, each of these decks and uh, tell my story about the deck, uh, about the deck, how I got it, why I bought it, etc, etc. I'm not gonna go very deep into them, I think most of you know about these decks and you can also research about these decks, you know, but I'll just try and quickly go through them so that you know you know what I have what I don't have and I use my cards in my videos yeah you've seen them all and there's not even one deck that I don't use I basically use all of them so first of all I'm gonna show you my first deck this is the deck that I got for the first time this is my first tarot deck um, <clears throat> I bought it in 2007 when um, I was pregnant me and my husband were walking around the bookstores and I just saw this deck it was the only deck in the bookstore it was a simple bookstore so <clears throat> I asked him to buy one for me and he did and I remember I really was afraid of this deck for the first time I thought God will punish me for using it and stuff like that because in my family, uh, well, basically, it was not common to use cards. Let's say tarot cards, especially. And even my mom, who was a new ager, she thought all the psychic work should be done without any tools. Just like that. Without any cards. So she was against cards, kind of. Now she's using cards. But then I was really afraid of this deck and I used to hide it in my wardrobe and just take it out occasionally, you know. And uh, it took me a lot of time to actually uh, start believing that tarot is nothing to be afraid of. And, um, you know, all this Christian stuff, Catholic stuff. <laughs> So yeah, this is Jonathan D's deck. The artist is Shirley B B B. Can't remember the name properly, but it came with a book, yeah, Beginner's Tarot something. So yeah. And this deck is very simple. Uh it doesn't have illustrated uh pip cards. But it has a uh, carries a memory for me it's a very how to see it's a good memory for me this deck okay now my second deck is of course right away deck because when I was using this deck Jonathan D's deck at some point I started feeling that there must be another tarot deck because at some point it didn't feel very real. Like, I remember I saw tarot in some movie or something. And I thought tarot... You know, tarot... Uh, there are more tarot decks, you know. Because I first thought that there is only one tarot deck, this one. And there are no more tarot decks. So then I discovered all of these different decks and started buying all of them. So yeah, this is my second deck um, with which I learned a lot. I wrote um, keywords on the corners of the cards and these keywords were actually, how do I put it? Uh, 
Yeah. <clears throat> so these keywords are from three different books. This is Hodorowsky's keywords written here in Lithuanian. Uh, there are some other keywords as well, and there's my keywords that I thought were the keywords of these cards. So I started learning with the keywords, right? And it has different types of keywords, and I never use them right now because I have different keywords now. So, so yeah, this is. And then I wrote the wrong keywords here, and I had to kind of block them out. So this is my second deck. <clears throat> This is also Rider Weight, but it's a little different. It's a different version. And um, I like these bags, these types of bags. This is the one I bought a year ago or two years ago, something like that. Because I really like the colors, brighter and things like that. So. Yeah, it's pretty new deck for me. This is the mini version. Mini version is good for traveling and it's good when you make big spreads in front of the, this camera, yeah? So you can use more cards like Celtic Cross and it fits into the screen. But I bought this for basically because it looked cute and I could travel with it. Mm, okay, what else? This is the Indian deck, Sacred India Tarot, by Jane Adams and Rohit Arya. This uh, deck is based on Hindu mythology, and it has a book with it, which tells um, all these stories from Hindu mythology, Ramayan, and things like that, all these um, basically stories. So I wrote the names of the stories, like basically who is he and what does he do. Nakula and Sahadeva. And these are actually people from the mythology and and basically Indian people know what he's talking about, but I don't really know what he's talking about and I read this intuitively. I do not read according to um, mythology, I'm just reading according to the pictures. But more or less, the meaning of the card is just like Rider Waits meaning, yeah, in the book. It's just that people are different, doing different things. And it's a very beautiful deck, very colorful, and very Indian deck. The next deck is Druidcraft Tarot. It was my the most fav favorite deck in the beginning, and it still is one of my favorites. The art is amazing. It's basically oil paintings, and it's very like nature, nature, like, very natural. When you look at it, you feel like you're in nature somewhere, and. Um, there's no special story related to it. I just loved it as soon as it was out, and I tried to buy it as soon as it as as I could to buy it, you know, as I could buy it. And I cut the corners because it was very big in size, and I really wanted them, wanted them to be just like that, the size and without borders, yeah. And I really like the way these paintings are, the art, the colors, everything. I even like the brown backs. It got a little bit worn out, um, you know, pretty fast actually got worn out. But it's okay, I like worn out decks. Now, the next is, I think... 
Tira Marchetti deck. It's a Legacy of the Divine Tarot. And at that time it was the first deck kind of computerized, you know. It's not, well, it's not computerized perhaps, but... Well, compared to Drew Craft Tarot or Rider right Weed, it's like pretty much computerized, you know. As you can see, it's like effects and everything. It's very beautiful. And it reads very well. But it makes me very lightheaded. I don't know how to explain it, but when I look at it, I feel like sleeping, you know. I feel like very lightheaded. So it's too much um, maybe going on in the deck. Because... It's very, very light, um, like, I feel like dizzy, you know, I don't know, looking at it, very floaty, it's very floaty deck, but sometimes I like to read it, like, I like dark, black deck, you know, so I feel like reading with it, sometimes I take it out and read with it, but usually I don't read with it, yeah, sometimes when I'm in a mood, okay, so it was, um, I loved it when I got it first. But I tend to le uh, lean more into the like classical, I don't know how to explain. Like I like this type of art. Like this is Tarot Lenamard by Los Carbeo. And it has this French type of caricature painting I don't know how to how do they call this type of painting or drawing but I really like this cute um, like postcards or something a little bit and particularly this deck I like because there's so much uh, there's so much going on and it's like and I read it usually by pictures, intuitively, not by meanings, but usually I read it by pictures. Like this, I would read like Lenamard. And this is also like Lenamard, I would read it like a letter communication. I would read as kids here, more... Uh, than, for example, lovers or friendship. So, yeah. So, I love this deck. It has a very cozy, cozy, I don't know, feeling. And it's kind of a little bit antique. It feels like antique. It's not antique. But it feels vintage or something. Okay, talking about antique... This is another deck that is um, kind of antique, yeah? It's a Thea tarot, and it's called the Book of Toth. Mm. And I just like the, how old-fashioned it looks. The back's a little bit... Um, I'm not a fan, but... I like this deck and um, it reminds me of probably Thea, who's very famous and who perhaps, um, you know, there are many stories and legends about him, how wonderful he was, etc. as a reader. And um, these cards have very interesting keywords here and I like how they work and they kind of talk in a very funny way, like a uh, old-fashioned, um, old-fashioned snob <laughs> or something like that. They talk. Uh, they have their own energy. I don't know the mood. Uh, they have their own mood. Okay, this is another deck that I like because it looks old. This is. Minciate Etruria deck, it's Italian deck, and it's not tarot, it's Minciate, it has 9 to 7 cards, it has 12 zodiac signs, 4 virtues, and 4 elements, like this is the virtue of prudence, I think, yeah, and other cards are just normal, uh, major, kana, and 
pep cards. So it comes with a book and it's very actually not so difficult to read it. It's very readable. And I like it because it's old. This is the deck that I myself drew for myself when I didn't have many decks. This is uh, called Madhubani Taro and uh, I wanted to publish but uh, I, I can never publish for some reason. I'm too lazy <laughs> to do all the work. So this is kind of also Indian based taro and uh, And not every card is good, not every card is drawn well, and my pen started, uh, how to say, floating, and it's not looking very good anymore. So yeah, and they are drawn on these very hard papers, paper very hard, yeah, so that's why they were thick, the deck is very thick compared to normal deck <clears throat> but they're handmade so it's normal I guess okay the next deck um, is of course um, Tarot de Marseille mini it's a mini deck and it's a Lost Carbeo deck I like this deck and it's also a travel deck to keep it in a bag but I use it when I make videos where I use basically bigger spreads like Celtic Cross or, or some bigger spread yeah this is Visconti mini tarot and I have borders cut off here because they were black and I didn't like them but it's very small because of that too small okay this is one of my newest decks it's Hermetic Tarot and um, it's very nice I like it I like the art, uh, so much stuff going on, you know, so many things, little, little drawings. There's so much to um, pick up on when you read. And uh, very good quality, you know, the card, and I really like this. I just bought it recently. I actually wanted it for a long time, and I just saw it in the shop <clears throat> online uh, it was an okay price so I got it this is a sorry this is a Spanish tarot it's like Marseille tarot and bought it when I went to Lithuania <clears throat> from a esoteric bookshop they're very small, very comfortable, the quality is very good. And yeah, basically they remind me of my trip to Lithuania. This is another um, Marseille style tarot. On the packet it was written um, tarot cards, yeah? so but they're very nice and again trim the border because they were too big and it was like difficult to shuffle I also wrote Khodorovsky's meanings on the corners but I never used them <clears throat> okay next is Asian Italian tarot This is Asian Italian Tarot. This is my favorite card, the star card. 
and very nice drawings if you look at them very beautiful realistic classical even the pips are very beautiful so I bought them because they're so clear so easy it's so beautiful Um, I don't use them often I don't know why I think I like more pics with pictures cards with pictures this is Cosmic Tarot it has very beautiful drawings as well especially these This was my favorite card it's got, because it kind of shows Arabic people in the desert, traveling, resting. And of course I was like so impressed by the pictures of this card, by the drawings. I thought it's the best deck in the world. I mean, if I get this deck I will never need another deck again. From my, in my opinion, it was the best deck in the world, right? But somehow I didn't read with it that much. It usually used to be just right away, try to wait all the time. Anyway, now I'm reading it with it. <laughs> this is Osho Zen Tarot. Um, also like the pictures, they were so different from others, like uh, looked very fresh, also had a little bit of a oriental feel in them, Buddhist maybe, which I liked. And I got this deck as well. It's good to read with this deck intuitively when you want to read just you know this is Morgan Greer tarot uh, the tin version in a tin you've probably seen this deck a lot a lot of times it's famous for not having its borders famous for its bright colors clear art, beautiful illustrations and many people like it and it's very cute with nice backs as well this is another deck um, by Los Carabeo and I also loved it because of colors and uh, it was a little different than others Yeah, I like this deck as well, very clear, easy to understand. This is uh, 1001 Night Tarot, the Tarot of 1001 Night. It has this um, Arabic imagery from 1001 Nights, so I like it, it's beautiful like a fairy tale and I read all those books by 1001 Nights when I was a child and yeah, I loved them so I thought it's gonna be great to have a deck like that and I also love oriental decks, I like oriental cultures um, like India, Middle East, Japan, China every, every eastern country basically I also like all European countries, so I don't know, just like cultures so I like theme decks that have cultures in them this is Hans and Robert's deck, mini it was originally my daughter's deck, but uh, I borrowed it like forever. 
because it's very good to make short videos not short videos but videos where I use bigger spreads and I need smaller cards this is the bigger version of Hanson Roberts it's a very good deck actually it's easy to use it's a good size small size this is um, another deck I trimmed the borders off it's the New Vision Tarot by Los Carbale. and it's almost like rider weight but everybody is from the behind the pictures from the behind like the king of pentacles is from behind but it has so many symbols so many so much going on and it's a really good deck to read with then there goes um crowley deck this is a crowley deck you probably know this deck it's very famous and I like the, actually the I um, the art. I like the art. I like the stock quality. I like the backs a lot. And it's actually a good deck to read when you want to feel the card. It's actually giving you the feeling before the your brain switches in. So it's kind of good to read intuitively with this. Okay. The next deck is Tarot of the Witches deck. It's also my newer newer deck. The one I bought just like a month ago or two months ago. So I like the art a lot actually because it reminds me of one person who drew this way. In this type of style. This person is not alive anymore. But I have good memories yeah, regarding that person. It was a famous... Lithuanian artist and um, and yeah I like this it reminds me of the story books kids books you know some illustrations used to be like that because I had so many books as a child story books fantasy books fairy tales folk stories, all sorts of things and I loved looking at the illustrations of those books and many of those books had exactly illustrations like that very nice okay and the next deck will be the Buddha Tarot. Buddha Tarot is my newer deck, one of the newer decks. And this is also a very famous deck by a very famous artist. And it has beautiful illustrations, beautiful book that comes with it. And it has a little bit different suits than Right Away's deck, but once you memorize the suits, it's very easy and it's almost the same like right away it meanings a little a little bit more positive here a little more how to say like moon is a very good card here meditation and psychic abilities and things like that no illusion no fear um, sun is also very interesting beautiful card This looks like the author himself. So, it's a very nice deck. Very beautiful art. <clears throat> and again, it's Tibetan art. That's why I like it. The next deck is... Uh, Russian deck of St. Petersburg. Russian tarot of St. Petersburg and I can love this day because it's about Russia it reminds me of Russian movies uh, cartoons fairy tale stories that we used to watch as kids 
it's really really beautiful <clears throat> and I like this type of style and I really wanted this for a long time just because of the Russia and the Russian feel in it there was a time that I thought I don't want any more decks I just get this deck and that's it you know I still think I, I shouldn't buy more decks and that's it this is Chinese tarot deck and um, it has uh, very Chinese illustrations and uh, again I love China and love you know cultures and I like how you know to have different decks that show me those cultures basically like I'm traveling around the world with them yeah The next deck is the Mythical Tarot, again very famous deck, I bought it in a bookshop one day, in the mall, there was, it was the only deck they had as well, <coughs> and there is no particular story associated with this deck, it's just I wanted a deck, I, wanted, I went to the bookshop, uh, so they have tarot decks and they showed me they had and I just bought this deck. It's about Greek mytholo Greek mythology and the story is from Greek mythology. But I just read it according to the pictures intuitively. Many cards are similar to the right of weight um cards and um And yeah, it's a nice deck, it has a good um, mood, it has like interesting mood, like very calm and very Greek mythology type of mood. This is Aquarian Tarot, um, there was a time I really wanted this deck because I thought it was cool and very classical and very famous and I have to have all the oldies, goldies, things like that. I thought it was an important deck, you know, to have. And I kind of like this style, pale faces, kind of, I don't know. It's very nicely made actually, very neat. Japanese Yukioe deck and it's a very small size and I love this deck it was a little expensive to buy but we bought it we found it and um, I really like uh, you know Yukioe I don't like manga that much but I like this type of Japanese drawing brings you to the Asian times and kind of feel in those times very beautiful yes I like reading with it it's very colorful easy to see every picture things like that it's all about mood actually when I'm in the Japanese mood I, I read with a Japanese deck when I'm in Chinese mood I read Chinese deck when I'm in a Russian mood, I take the Russian deck, and when I'm in Italian, I take Italian deck. You know, something like that, so, with me. Now, this deck is the Italian deck, as I call it, the Medieval Scapini Tarot. It was, um, for me, it was amazing deck, like, real tarot, real, you know, like Visconti, almost. And, um, uh, I like that the meanings, uh, a little bit like playing card meanings in some cases. The star card is extremely beautiful. The figures are different. I like the golden thing behind. So it's a beautiful deck to have, basically. Quality is so good that it will never get worn out, probably. And there's so much going on as well. So many things, so many symbols, so many 
little tiny pieces, little tiny drawings that you can always find something in it. Like there are drawings on the glass, on the you know on the glass there are drawings in it, and in that drawing there's more drawings. So yeah, I think it's great. And I've noticed that I really like decks that are worn out because it's like when the deck is new, it feels awkward for me to read with it. So when it becomes like a little bit soft from use, then I'm feeling comfortable reading that deck. This is Connolly Tarot. I really like this. It's like very Middle Ages type of feeling. Like uh, Europe, European type of... Um, you know, art, very calm, very nice and cozy. I like their clothes, I like um, the colors, uh, lots of pinks are here, and this is my favorite card, I think, the hair fan, because of so many colors. The next deck is Golden Tarot by Cat Black. And I got this deck really cheap. It was a 90% discount or so. Somebody was selling off their stock. And I just was lucky to get this deck for so cheap. Which is actually a very expensive deck now. I looked it up. It's um, And I like uh, this type of drawings. It's so classical and so beautiful. I like this feel. I don't know, this Middle Ages or Renaissance, but it's a typical European art. Actually, at home we used to have many uh, art reproduction, reproduction books with art from uh, basically the most famous European art. And this reminds me of that. I used to look and look at those books. I really liked that art as a child. And this deck is totally very easy to use. It's like so beautiful for me. <clears throat> I like the color brownish, golden. It's not very bright, so it's kind of easier to to read it when it's not so bright. Yeah. Next is the deck called the Mystical Indian Tarot. Mystical Indian. No, I think it's Mystical Tarot only. This is a little like interesting drawing. It's just, like um, Indian decks, so they use Madhubani art. They use um, different types of arts that are, um, you know, Indian folk art basically. A little bit of modern. And I think it's computerized, you can see these uh, dots and everything. But the images are really different, like very Indian and very colorful, uh, clear, childish a little bit. But I like it, It's every card is a little bit different. I can understand everything, you know, what they're saying, what they're trying to show. Every card makes sense. So, it's a good deck to read, it's just a little bit big. And, um, maybe a little bit childish, like, funny. So, that's why maybe I don't use it that often, but I'm trying to use it. Okay, this is Three of Cups. <clears throat> I 
and this is the light and shadow tarot also black and white tarot also got it for 90 percent discount it was amazing it was a pretty rare deck that i was always wanting to find and then one day they did a discount and i just bought all of these decks many decks actually on discount Sometimes I just, um, the art is uh, by a German artist, and the art reminds me of Lithuanian folk art as well. Probably every country's folk art. It's uh, wood, wood carvings, yeah. And uh, I like this type of art. Like village art. I don't know, like you're in a, some sort of village house and you get these spoons from wood and these old drawings wood carved this card burned during the video yeah pretty nice I like this and I actually read with this deck okay what else do you have more decks I don't think so, that's it. These are my old tarot decks, I'm so sorry. Because I'm nearly sleeping in this video. I think it was pretty boring for you as well. Well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm sure these are very boring decks that you all have, see, have seen. And um, they're all older versions, older decks, not the new ones. So, thank you for watching this video and hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.